Hey traders, hope you're having a good weekend. In today's Forex video, I want to talk about the premium Forex trading strategy. Specifically, I want to show you how do you increase your trading profits without increasing risk. Now, this is a very uh, interesting concept. I see a lot of people applying this, but they apply it in the wrong way. So uh, my goal of recording this video today is to show you the right way to do it. Now, before I start, this is a very important uh, disclaimer because this content or this video is not like many of my other videos. This video is a bit more advanced. So if you are still struggling, you know, you are new to trading, perhaps you've been only trading for one week, three months, five months, uh, and you're not very sure how to calculate risk and all the advanced stuff, uh, please do not apply this. Okay, you can go ahead and watch this video to understand the concept, but please do not uh, apply this because uh, it has the potential to blow your account if you do not apply it correctly. Okay, as always, if you need to rewatch this video, uh, download it, whatever, keep starting it, write notes, do all this, right? Make sure you are really clear, okay? We love to help you. So just leave the comments down in the section. If you need any help, email us for any clarification. But it is very important to me that um, I, I do not mislead you. I do not help you blow your account, okay? So before I recorded this video, I was very uh, concerned about whether um, I will actually mislead you. So I think it's uh, my responsibility to tell you that uh, this is a disclaimer, that this is very important, uh, that you, you don't anyhow misapply it, and this is an advanced technique, okay? So just, uh, just to reiterate one last time, this is not for beginners who do not know how to calculate risk and manage risk, okay? We have a lot of other videos on how to calculate risk and manage risk. So if you have not watched that, uh, please check out those other videos, okay? Uh, maybe I'll put a link on the top right, then you can check that out, but please uh, do not uh, use this wrong. Okay, that is it's very important to me that uh, I do not help you lose money and teach you the wrong things. Okay, so by the way, right, I really appreciate if you could just take three seconds to like this video. Okay, really very earnest in helping you become a better trader. So hopefully you can feel that I'm very earnest in helping you, right? And hopefully you can uh, just help me out by hitting the like button and hitting the subscribe button. Right, turn on the notification bell as well so that you will not miss a video from me. Okay, I also have a free day trading guide. So just go ahead and download it as and when you are free. Okay, so what will I, you learn today? Number one, I want to just give you a brief introduction as to what is pyramiding your positions. Okay, chances are if you do not know what is pyramiding, uh, you are probably still a bit beginner and you should not be applying this. But as I said, you can still watch this video to understand the concept. Then I want to show you why you should be doing this and when you should do it, be doing this. Okay, I want to show you that uh, by doing this uh, concept, you can actually drastically increase your uh, reward okay drastically increase the amount of money you make and also when you should be doing it uh, i want to go into how most people do it wrongly okay i've been trading for many many years okay I've been trading for more than a decade i've seen a lot of people do it wrongly okay and because they do it wrongly they blow their account so that's not what i want for you and i want to help you avoid that then lastly i want to show you the correct way to do it right so make sure you stay to the end okay, i want to show you the smart way to actually do it without increasing your risk okay i know that's a very big uh, you know that's a very big promise like how how can you premium without increasing your risk i promise you it all make sense if you stick to the end so what is premiating your positions? Okay, it's a very simple concept. It's where you add more position as the trade goes in your direction. Okay, I, I have to emphasize that it is when the trade goes in your direction. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to increase your profits by increasing your position size when you are right. Okay, very important. Only do this when you're right. Okay, do not add your position if your position is in the red and you are temporarily wrong. Okay, very simple. If you are wrong, at least in the moment, meaning that um, your position, your trading accounts in the red, there's really no point adding. That means that uh, you didn't, uh, you know, you didn't take into account something or, you know, the market structure is not revealed, the trend is not revealed, something along that line. The fact that you are in the red tells you that you are at least wrong temporarily. You may not be ab absolutely wrong, right? You may still end up uh, be profitable in that trade. But at that moment in time, you are still wrong. So there is no point in adding positions when you're wrong. So again, I'll cover more of this uh, later, uh, how most people are doing it wrongly so that uh, you do not make this mistake and blow your account. Now, why do you want to premium and what should you do? Okay, 
you should know that as a trader, you want to maximize profits. So there's only two ways you can do it, right? You can hold your positions longer, meaning that you try to maximize your profit, you try to throw your stop loss. Right? I have a lot of videos on this. So if you're new to this channel, just check out our other uh, YouTube videos, right? So you want to hold your position and catch a bigger move. Uh, or the other ways, uh, as you are winning, meaning that the position is going in your direction, you want to buy more or you want to sell more. You want to basically add more position. So it is only logical that when you are right, you want to have a big position and when you are wrong, you want to have a small position. So that's easy to say, but it's not easy to do. But this is just the idea that I'm trying to uh, instill into you. I'm just trying to teach you this uh, idea. So when should you do it? You should only do it when the market is trending. Do not do this in a range-bound market. It doesn't make sense because if price is going up and down, uh, you, you just want to buy at the bottom, you want to sell at the top. You don't want to accumulate on the way up because it doesn't make sense. As, as you know, as price moves up into the resistance in a range market, uh, your profit margin is going to be lower and lower and lower. Okay, so only apply this in the trending market, something like this. So let's say uh, you enter here. Then uh, you enter here, you enter here, then you, you just try to write. So do not do this in a uh, ranging market. Do this only in a trending market. Very important, very key. So how do most people do it wrongly? If this is you currently, please rectify this. Please do not do this because this is the fastest way to blow your account. Number one, mistake number one. Most traders add position when they are wrong. Okay, I mentioned this already. So what happens is that, you know, let's say price is like that. Uh, price is coming down. And uh, you buy, you buy here, and you know you, you are, you're in a red. And because you're in a red, and you want to recoup your losses, you enter a, a bigger position here, thinking that say, oh, if I enter a bigger position over here, just price just need to go up a bit for me to break even. So this is what they do. Except that price just keeps going down and down and down, and you have a big loss. So this is a big no, no. Never ever do this. Okay, if you are buying, let's say you're trying to frame it in a position, each position should be bought higher. Meaning that if you are buying, okay, let me just draw it for you. Let's say you buy the first position here. Your second position has to be higher. Your third position has to be higher. Your fourth position has been higher. Never buy on the way down. Meaning never ever do this. Never buy here, buy here, buy here. Okay, do it this way. Always do it this way. Okay, the same is also true for the opposite. Let's say you are selling. Let's say it's downtrend. Your first sell is here. Your second sell has to be lower. Your third sell has to be lower. Always make sure you are selling down. This means that each position that um, you enter, the previous position is already profitable. Okay, right. If you need to pause this video and take the notes, uh, write this down, screenshot this, make sure you do it because uh, this will help you save a lot of money. Okay, mistake number one. Now, mistake number two, which I see a lot of traders do is, uh, let me just clear this first so it's clearer. Okay, mistake number two is that people, a lot of traders uh, like yourself, they just increase their position but they do not alter the stop loss. So what do I mean like that? Let's say a uh, price is like that. Okay, so they buy one lot over here. They buy one lot here. And uh, after that, they buy three lots over here. They, but this stop loss is still over here. All your stop losses are still here. So what happens is that if price were to come back down, you're going to have a big loss because you did not watch your stop loss. So you always want to make sure that you watch your stop loss. Okay, I'll talk about that in the next slide. But you must understand that you do not just want to enter a big position and just keep adding without watching your risk, right? Because it's really no different from entering one big position, one shot. Okay, how is this different? For example, this one over here, you enter one lot here, you enter three lots here. And your stop loss is still the same. How is this different from just adding uh, four lots, one shot? There's no difference because your stop loss, your risk is still the same. Okay, so you, you do not want to do this. I'll show you the right way to do it. So this is how you do it. Okay, I'll just give you the, the, the explanation first. Then I'll move on into the charts to show you how to do it. Uh, you know, kind of like uh, show you on the charts uh, how, that, how, how it looks like. Okay, so the smart way to do it is you always want to watch your risk. This is very important. You want to watch. You want to count. You want to be obsessive about how much you're risking. So let's say you enter a new position. Okay, in my previous example, I talked about this. Let's say you buy one lot here and your stop loss is here. And you want to buy another position over here. Let's say you want to... What you can do is this position, you can switch, shift it to break even first. And when you enter this position here, you enter a smaller position, maybe 0 0.8 because your stop loss is wider. Okay, because your stop loss is from here to here. So your first position is at break even. So if price comes down, uh, you're going to get out and break even, there's no loss. And if price 
for your district, it hits down here, you would lose uh, probably around the same amount of money as uh, if your district had uh, come over here. Meaning that compared to your initial uh, scenario where you entered one lot here, and if price had traded against you, that would be the amount of money that you will have lost. Okay, I apologize if this sounds a bit complicated because it's not easy to explain. But I'll go in the charts to just show it to you. But basically, basically you want to adjust the previous uh, stop loss either to break even or you tighten it. Now, since you reduce that risk, then you can take on more risk. Because let's say you were initially risking $100 and you reduce the stop loss of your previous trade to say $50 in uh, you know, potential losses, you can enter another position with uh, $50 in risk, meaning that uh, if you are wrong, you lose another $50. So that's uh, what I mean. Okay, In the case where you are lucky, sometimes it happens, you know, price keeps trending and it doesn't take out any of your positions. So let's say, uh, let's say you entered somewhere here and you entered here and you entered here and price just goes one direction all the way up. You are going to make a lot of money because you have three positions instead of one. Let's say you entered one here, you entered 0 0.8 here and maybe you entered 0 0.6 here. Okay, instead of making uh, one lot, maybe one lot is a uh, one lot and uh, this one is let's say 100 pips. Okay, if you trade euro dollar, uh, one lot is $10. Instead of making uh, $1,000, you will make uh, $1,000 plus uh, this plus this. So this is how you increase your profit without adding any risk. Let me go into the charts and show you how to, uh, you know, just show you a representation of how you do it. Okay, I have uh, the uh, go chart over here. I've deliberately cherry picked this example because uh, this has been a, this was a very nice trend. Okay, so let's just, uh, you know, just just to illustrate the concept. Okay, I'm not sure here to do a back test or teach you a strategy. So uh, there's really no need for me to go through uh, uh, other examples. Just one example will do. Okay, let's say, uh, let's say you entered a uh, goal somewhere here. Okay, your first trade was, uh, you entered here. Okay, let's say your entry was here. And uh, okay, let's just put it this way so that's clearer for you. Okay, let's say you entered on the close of this candle. You entered here and your stop loss was here initially. Okay, so this is your first trade. Now, because you want to premium it, you decide to enter another trade somewhere over here. Okay, and because you enter a trade over here, you decide to shift the, the stop loss to break even. So your first trade has no risk anymore because you neutralize the risk. Now your second trade that is entered over here, your stop loss is still the same, same as before. You just put it somewhere here. Okay, so what you can do is uh, you can enter a position here to scale in over here with the same stop loss but a smaller position size because your stop loss is wider. So let's say if price, okay, let me see if I can draw it. Um, okay, let's say price were to come back down here, it would take out your first trade at, at break-even, meaning that you do not lose anything. And if price really does indeed come here, you are still going to lose the same amount of money as um, if you had just entered uh, this trade and uh, put your stop loss as this. Okay, uh, I can't shift this down, but uh, yes, if you entered here and you put your stop loss over here, the result would have been the same. So this is how you scale in without uh, uh, increasing your risk. You want to uh, neutralize your risk or you want to tighten your stop loss, okay? You do not need to uh, uh, totally shift the, uh, your stop loss to break even, but uh, the idea is you just want to uh, tighten the stop loss so that uh, your risk is reduced. You do not want to keep adding, you know, uh, like what I mentioned earlier, you do not want to just keep adding trades and, you know, uh, increasing risk. So you do not want to do something like this, which a lot of people do. So they add another trade and the stop loss is the same. And then, you know, they add another trade here and the stop loss is the same. And what happens is that if price uh, does this, uh, from here it comes all the way down, you're going to have a big loss. So this is the mistake to avoid. You just want to shift your stop loss and manage your stop loss accordingly. Okay, I apologize if uh, you know this is not very clear because uh, this is really not a uh, simple concept to explain. But as always, I mentioned that uh, you can always email us. I can leave a comment down below and I will read your comments and we'll clarify this. Okay, just a recap about what I covered today. Uh, number one, I talked about what is premating your positions. Basically, you want to add in more positions when you're right. Okay, you want to premate uh, because it allows you to make more money and you want to do it when the market is trending, not in a range bound scenario. Okay, most people premate wrongly, right? They do it by increasing risk without reducing their uh, stop losses or tightening their stop loss. So when price trades against them, uh, they, they have a very big loss. So please do not do that. Okay, watch the two mistakes that I covered uh, through. Again, if you 
you know, you, you forgot about that or you just need to recap that. Okay, and the last way, last thing that I covered is that uh, the smart way to cremate your positions without increasing risk is actually to adjust your stop loss. Tighten your stop loss. Always focus on how much you're risking that per, per trade. So, so let's say you trade euro dollar. What is your risk? If let's say you're risking $100, always make sure that your risk doesn't exceed $100 when you add in a new position. Okay, you can tighten your stop loss or you can shift your stop loss to break even so that uh, you do not have any risk exposure. Okay, so hopefully that is clear. Again, I appreciate it if you just take three seconds of your time to like this video, right? Hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because that will help us grow, right? We want to hit 100,000 traders to help people just like you who are still struggling. Okay, we have a lot of other free Forex videos. So make sure you check that out if you have not already. Okay, if not, I look forward to hear from you. If not, I'll see you around in the other videos and the Telegram channel. Thanks for watching.